In Youngsville? In Youngsville. That little right. small little shack right. thing is what? The best. Best coffee I've had blows every other little coffee shops around here. Wow. But I drink McDonald's coffee all the time. Okay. But that little shack coffee place. Oh, that's and good. And those two no. little kids that are running it. Yeah. They made it. Okay. That coffee. All in, right. In Youngsville. That little right. small little shack right. thing. Is what? The best. I said, check out Cahill's Classics on uh, YouTube. All right. Yeah. No. Hey there. And I'm going to tell you. How you doing? Yeah, ain't nobody else around here come close. This is going on four years. Okay, so what made you, what made you get it? Well, <clears throat> I've been in racing ever since 1961. Okay, and I've raced about everything, funny car, but uh, I I wanted to get out of racing, right? And kind of, but I couldn't get away from the the field. So I I just started, you know, doing the cruise in, fix a car, but I have a lot of power in it to where it will go. Uh huh. But just do cruise ins. Okay. And once in a while, I'll go to the track just to get it out of my blood. Okay. But my boy, I got him involved in it when he was fifteen. Of course, of course. And uh, so he he builds his cars, and so. And what you got on the hood on this thing right here? I got a four sixty eight roller here. Ah, roller. Yeah. 
okay. the car is a heavy. It's you know it's still thirty two hundred thirty two hundred pound. Uh huh. And uh, so it's still a heavy car. It's what kind of numbers heavy. you run with this thing? Huh? What kind of numbers you run with it? Street, just like it is, I can run a six ten. That's, so that's little, that's ten seconds and a quarter mile. Yeah, with a little work, I could do. I could probably hit the high fives. Oh yeah. If I put slicks on it, uh -huh. I tune it. Uh, but just like it sits now, uh, I could do six ten. Uh, not reg not not consistent. Probably uh -huh. anywhere six ten to six forty. Okay. Something like that. Right? Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you, man. I I was I was in love with it the first time I saw it. I liked it. Uh, uh, I never had a Vega before. I've had about everything else. Okay, that question. Now, what made you get the Vega out of all the cars in the world? Uh, I think the yellow attracted uh -huh. me. The color. My nephew, my my niece, husband had a Vega, but it was uh -huh. a track car. Right. And uh, so I rode in that, and uh, I used to race with Vegas back in the day. Right. When there was nothing but that, a lot of Vegas on the track. Oh, okay. So what do you think about all them Vegas that was at Pro Street Day? The, all of them. I mean, uh, the, the the Ronnie, the um, well, the, the junk, one, the Grumpy Jenkins, and yeah, the one with the blower. The one with the big blower on it. That's a race car, and it don't run as fast as my boy's car. Oh, okay. He runs like a five nineties. Mm -hmm. My boy's running a five thirty four. Oh, okay. Street legal. Right. Well, he, you, well, you know, turbo's a different beast. Yeah. And uh, then the other one, it just had a small motor, small block in it. But I thought they were they were some good looking cars though. Yeah, yeah, like it was. Uh, they were impressive. Yeah. They were in my world. Yeah. You know. Okay. Well, I just be trying to get in the head of a real pro street guy, and you know, find out you know what, how to get in, and why they chose the car, and what size tires you got on the back of this one. These are. Uh, I ran a, a, a thirty-one, uh, a thirty-one eighteen five fifteens. Okay. And I got a set of uh, thirty-three twenty-one fives. That I gotta get a another inch and a half on both sides, and I can put that under there. I wow. want to get the biggest tire I can get under there. I tell you, these is pretty big. Yeah, and just only thing you'd be able to see is the pumpkin. Okay, <laughs> and, and 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 it looked like you got bead locks. Yeah, well, I I want to get some like Johnny's got. Johnny's got a nice set of bead locks. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know. I I probably won't keep this no longer than probably another. Less probably less than two years. Okay. And when I go to sell it, I'll sell the car, closed-in trailer, and my truck, all three, for one price. And then what? And then I'll uh, I'll probably throw in with my boy. Okay. And build build a really pro street car. Okay. I probably. Well, I like this one because it looks stock. I mean, look at the um, look at the interior. I yeah. mean, these is real door panels, ain't they? Here's a unique thing. See the glove box? Yeah. They cut the glove box off because of the roll bar. <laughs> they cut it off. Uh huh. And look there, they redone that there. Yeah. You still got a functional glove box. Yeah. And, and radios. Functional. Yeah. Yeah. I put a radio in it. Uh huh. And I got. But you you don't need a radio because the music is that is that is well, that I motor. Got, I got some good. I got some good speakers there. Yeah, I saw them. I saw them. But I'd rather, I, yeah, I'd rather have the um, have the music, the sound, the music, yeah. the the mufflers is the sound of the music I like. And what kind of mufflers you got up here, Flowmaster? What? I got ten inch Flowmaster. My boy rigged all that up there underneath it. Oh, okay. And uh, he made that. But I got all the dashes. Uh, I see tack, gauges. And there's a speedometer, and then another tack that synchronizes with that one. Uh huh. And the fuel fuel gauge, and it works good. It works. Oh, and, okay. Uh, this here is my all of the okay stuff and I like the way you got it well hidden. I wouldn't have even known if you hadn't have told me. Yeah, no, nobody knows where right. it is. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. And that's your MSD box up there. Yeah. Okay. That's MSD. And, uh huh. And, uh, but uh, all of it's hid. It ain't sticking out. Right, right, good. right, right, right. Okay. It's tilt steering wheel. Yeah. Is that a factory steering wheel? Big people. Big, big people. Okay. And that's a factory steering wheel? 
No, no, okay. it's aftermarket. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the steering um, column. No, this here is not. Okay. And the tilt. Right. No, it's it's all uh, reproduction. Okay, okay. All right. Well, it look good, though. Yeah. And it's an 8.5 certified roll cage, 12 mm -hmm. point. Mm-hmm. So it's it's all it's all safe. Yeah, it looked like it for is for rollovers. And yeah. Stuff. Uh, but, uh, and then the back, what I was impressed with, when I had that back carpeted, he laced, he interlaced all the mm -hmm. the little where the bar goes down. He mm -hmm. laced around the bar. I mean, it, he did a good detail, job. Detailed. Cause ain't no way in the world I could have got back down there back then and fixed that, put did yeah. all that. Trailer parking, 50 50 cash drawing, participants' choice trophy, long distance trophy, participants' choice trophy, long distance trophy, best pro street trophy, pro street day, 148 East Main Street, Youngsville, North Carolina, November 9th, 2024, 9 o'clock a.m. 3 o'clock p.m. You can drive, it drive it up on, yeah, drive it out, I crank it back up. I can't open the doors. Hey, can you give it a little rev?
I love you, Square Body. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. What you got on the hood? Can I see it? What size of them rims you sitting on? Uh, is it 22 by 8 and a half? And okay. I mean, 20 by 8 and a half and then 22 by 10 and a half. And a half. Okay. Yeah, I think it's very happy. Now, this is my first time seeing one of these. Okay. That is the Eagle Moss 1-8 scale build, build by subscription model car. Okay. I signed up for it, and every month parts will come in the mail, and I just put those parts together, and 30 months later, I had a complete car. Okay. I'll tell you what. All right. Just tell me, um, tell me about your car and what you have here. Well, this is a 81 black interior automatic car, then... 3768 bought it from DeLorean Motors Midwest uh, a year ago today and I have put 5,000 miles on it since then it had 30,000 when I bought it uh, it has the groove hood without the gas flap there were three hoods available whoa gas flap would go right here okay because here's okay the, the fuel filler is right underneath here okay Groove hood, that's referring to these grooves along the hood. Mm -hmm. This car over here has a perfectly flat hood with the logo on it. The later cars all have that. This is all original. I have not modified it other than to replace some wear items on it. Okay, and uh, tell us what this car is. What year make and model? What is it? 1981 DeLorean DMC. Okay, okay. 81. 81. This one here is an 83. Okay. And another couple of differences, the wheels on these are actually different. Uh, the differences are very slight, but this little kind of inner hub, mm -hmm. it's more flat than mine. Mine has more of a slope to it behind mm -hmm. behind the spokes. I see it. I the see rear it. wheels are kind of the same. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I could go into a lot of detail on how these two cars are different and what kind of changed over the course of the company. but. Uh, largely stock, no, no modifications like I mentioned, and I've, I've just been enjoying it for the past 12 months. I am, I am happy to hear that you say it. I heard when you said you put miles on this car, I'm happy to hear that you are driving it. I am. And you're not scared to drive it. So what made you get this car? I have wanted one since I was eight years old. <laughs> and I bought it on my 40th birthday. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And it's amazing because when I see a group of these, I never notice the subtle differences. I have heard somebody say that no two DeLoreans are alike. I believe it. The more it. I see them, the more I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. Well, you have a good luck, good looking car here. Thank you. I Tag is a reference to the my ages when I saw it for the first time and when I bought it. Okay. Thirty-two years. It, you you was after it for thirty-two years. Okay. Well, thanks for telling me about your car. We want to say, come join us for our New Year's Day bash. We will be having a New Year's Day bash, which is a celebration bigger than normal. January the first, twenty twenty-four at the K&W Cafeteria at 3620 Bastion Lane, Raleigh, North Carolina. 3620 Bastion Lane, Raleigh, North Carolina. From 10 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. <clears throat> you can also um, stay till 8 p.m. 
we're just for the event purposes we're just going to say 10 to 3 but if you want to you can stay to 8 p.m if you like so that's the new year's day bash well, that's our new year's day bash caitlin classic new year's day bash we will be having to get together for a new year's day celebrate new year's day okay at this um k and w cafeteria it's an indoor dining facility restrooms home cooking recorded on the caitlin classic youtube channel there's a plethora of other restaurants in the area so if you don't want home cooking there's a plethora of other restaurants in the area we'll have a 50 50 cash drawing we'll have a long distance trophy so come on out celebrate 2024 um come show off your cherished ride to celebrate 2024 caitlin classic new year's day bash 3620 bastion lane raleigh north carolina from 10 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Come see us.
Carolina from 9 o'clock a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. The rain date for that event is August 24th, It looks good, man. That looks good. Oh, I will in a minute. Drop down in the comments if you know what this is for. Drop down in the comments if you know what this is for. What, what, what size engine you got in this thing? 302. Wow. And that's big for this. <laughs> and I cut down my exhaust this week. Okay. Yeah, they were pointed up. They were pointed up. 
And in weather like this, you wind up with rain in them. So oh, okay. Them. All right. My yeah, might as well. <laughs> Go ahead. You know I ain't gonna turn it down. <laughs> Come on man, you know this ain't fuel injection. Straight paper, or you got muscles on. Oh, okay. <laughs> How you doing? have our third annual scholarship fund auto extravaganza our third annual scholarship fund auto extravaganza which will be at the American Legion post number seven in Durham North Carolina our third annual scholarship fund auto extravaganza will be at the American Legion post number seven in Durham North Carolina 406 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina. American Legion Post number 7. 406 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina. 406 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina. That will be at the American Legion Post number 7. Durham, North Carolina. The American Legion Post number 7. Okay, the registration for this event is a cash donation. The registration is a cash donation. So let me make sure I have the date and time. Okay, the third annual J.W. Shepherd Scholarship Fund Auto Extravaganza will be October 12th, 2024. October 12th, 2024. 
406 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina, from noon to 4 o'clock p.m. Again, the date is October 12th, 2024, from noon to 4 o'clock p.m. October 12th, 2024, 406 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina, from noon to 4 o'clock p.m. Okay? From noon to 4 o'clock. We will be having this event. Okay, registration fee is a cash donation. We have refreshments on site. So we had that means we have cold beverages. Canteen will be open. Indoor dining facility. Restrooms. Top five. Participants choice trophies, top five, okay? Long distance trophy, okay? So people have been putting in some miles coming into these events, so we're going to reward them with a trophy, okay? So come on out and enjoy this event. The third annual scholarship fund, auto extravaganza, American Legion Post number seven, 406 East Trinity Avenue, Durham, North Carolina, from noon to 4 o'clock p.m. October 12th, 2024. Come on out and join us.
to the channel. Please, please subscribe to the Cake Name Classic YouTube channel. We're at Cars and Coffee Marsville and it's raining. But look, they're still here. They're still here. Cars are still here everywhere. Cake Name Classic YouTube channel. It's raining. the whole patina movement, but mine is not. Hey, how you doing? Okay, well, just want to let you know that it is raining, um, but it didn't stop these people from coming out. So please subscribe to the channel. Make comments. Make comments. It's yours. Yes. Okay. Make All right. Uh, feel free. Enjoy so what, sir? Well, yeah, I said feel free. <laughs> Please click like to stimulate the YouTube algorithm. I got it up for sale. Click like. Okay. To stimulate the YouTube algorithm. Please make comments to stimulate the YouTube algorithm. And share this video with everybody that you know. Today is um, classic, classic car day. Right here. So we got a 68 square back for sale. Come get it. Hey there.
man. You ain't mad about getting no escalator in the bitch out <laughs> Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, but yes, come on out and uh, 